All right, welcome back baseball fans. This video is eliminating the St. Louis Cardinals from the National League. Uh, an absolute disaster of a season. They, uh, they netted negative 23 games in their standings. Um, they went nine and 21 hit 254 the 506 ERA and the previous year they had a 382 ERA with a 297 batting average Bob Gibson was 12 and 3 last year Ozzy Smith hit 338 last year this year he hit 200 um, so I put both stats up for the Cardinals the good from last year 2019 and the horrible from this year um, so the next step, of course, is to eliminate the Cardinals. So we go through their stack here, and we look for the Cardinals from 1984, and we remove those. That would be Wally Backman, Bruce Souter, Holtzman, Taylor, Washburn, Gibson, Bob Lacey, Tom Waddell, Dave Rucker, Keith Hernandez, Simmons, Torrey Flood, Berta, Sadakis, Willie McGee, Ozzy Smith, Javier sticks around, as is Dave Duncan. So these are the guys who stick around. And first thing we do is we want to find out if any of these uh, Cardinals uh, had a career that began as early as 1972, which the league will be in next year, to see if I can uh, go back in history and bring them back. Ozzy Smith, no, he'll be done. Willie McGee, no. Hernandez, no. Rucker, Waddell, Lacey, Bruce Souter, and Wally Backman. So no, none of these eight Cardinals will be back. They'll all be retired. So we'll see which 12 Cardinals will uh, come back next year. And the Cardinals will bring back a offensive laden team. They have eight hitters and four pitchers coming back. So they have two catchers, Simmons and Duncan. Uh, they have Joe Torrey. So it seems to me that Joe Torrey won't have to catch next year. He can catch, but you already have Duncan and Simmons. So Torrey's future next year looks to be their third base or first base, but you like the flexibility there. Javier is playing second. That's half of the, of the eight coming back. And then you have the outfielders, Lou Brock in left, Flood in center, Berta in right. He was a fringe player in 71, as you can see. And Sadakis, probably a DH, but he can also play in the outfield if needed. So offensively, um, they're pretty, they got a lot of players here. They got to decide where to put Torrey, and they need a shortstop. It's basically what they need on offense. The big moves will have to come in the pitching staff because they have a starting rotation. Gibson, Holtzman, Chuck Taylor, and Ray Washburn. They're all starters, nines, eights, and sevens. And they have a left-handed starting pitcher. But there's no bullpen. <laughs> The St. Louis Cardinals have no bullpen at all. And so that's their task in the draft next year. They're going to need two left-handed relievers and two righty-handed relievers. And let's see what the Cardinals can do in building their team for next year. Okay, so this is what the Cardinals have in 1972. Um, we're looking for... Mostly pitching help, but we need a couple position player help as well. We need an entire bullpen. Uh, we have to figure out where we're going to put Tory, and we need a shortstop. So by war in 1972, these are their top players: Bob Gibson, who's already on the team; Rick Wise, who's a starting pitcher, and he's on another team, so he's not going to help us. Simmons is already here. Tory's already here. Ted Sizemore who was with the Dodgers at one point, but he's a second baseman, and they already have Julian Javier. So that's kind of tricky. I don't think uh, we need his help on this team. 
Scipio Spikes is the next player to look at on the war. And where in heck is he? Well, he's a starting pitcher, too. He started 16 games with a 2.67 ERA. Oh, it's great, except uh, we need a relief pitcher. Um, Bernie Carbo is already in the league. Lou Brock is on this team. Matty Alou's on, on a different team. Joe Haig. It doesn't look like they're going to get much help from this Cardinal team of 72. Maxville's a shortstop. He's already in the league someplace else. Um, well, it's going to be tough. Diego, Diego Segui, he's already in the league. Modrabowski pitched only 27 innings. Question marks. They may have to go the free agency route. They don't seem to have it in-house in 1972. Let's go back to 1971 for the Cardinals. There's Torrey again and Gibson. Carlton. Well, we know what happened. He went to Philadelphia in 1972. And uh, he won a bazillion games for the Phillies. Um, Lou Brock, Simmons, Alou, Reggie Cleveland, Frank Lindsay. Let's see if Frank Lindsay can play in the uh, in the rotation. He's he's a decent. Yeah, well, Frank Lindsay, he's a good relief pitcher. So I I think him and Don Shaw, they're both available. Um, and Mudrabowski again. So there's some relief help here. Still no shortstop. And as far as corner man goes, it's Joe Haig, who didn't do much. Let's go back to 1970. Again, you're going to see Gibson and Torrey quite frequently in these lists. Um, Jerry Royce. I think a very, very young Jerry Royce. He wasn't that good. Uh, Sal Campisi. That would be a nice pitcher to bring in. In a 2.92 ERA, his whip was kind of outrageously high. Look at that. I don't know about that. Not much help there. And let's go back to 69. Um, the Cardinals got to figure out what to do with this bullpen. It seems like, uh, look at that. The same guys, Gibson, Carlton. Uh, there's Flood, Taylor, Javier, Brock. There's Torrey, of course, again. Um, yeah. Mike Shannon at the end of his career. Oh, he's the third baseman. Um, Horner, Mike okay, now Ron Will. I don't see it. Uh, Cardinals are going to have to figure out, use some strategy, make some trades. they got to figure out how to put together a bullpen next year or they're going to stay in the last place because the starting pitchers are going to wear their arms out. So that's the review of the St. Louis Cardinals. I hope you enjoyed this. We'll see you again next time.